morning everybody and welcome to the United Tiny Living Festival. We are so excited. This is our very first tiny living event and last night was so much fun. We got here yesterday with our friends and just kind of settled in and the coordinators worked on getting the event set up but people are starting to make their way in this morning. I overslept a little bit so we were kind of rushing to get everything ready but I got the van all cleaned up and we'll be giving tours today and we're really excited and I'll be giving you guys the official tour next week so make sure you hit that subscribe button because our next video will be our official van tour of the new van I know a lot of people have been looking forward to this and I'm really excited to make it but I wanted to make sure Josh was home since he did most of the building he should definitely be involved in the van tour it is insanely cold and windy today so hopefully everyone still comes by and says hello. I'm really happy with how clean we got the van looking this morning. So this particular event actually takes place in a city park. So we all got to sleep here last night, which was really cool. There's bathrooms and we had a little van party. So we've got Trent, the fine print over here, Steffi, and then parked right in front of us. I'll peep my head out. We've got Brandon and Sarah over there little like pro master alley going on here, but we're really excited to bring you guys along with us today. Haley, are you the best welcoming committee? Yeah. Say everybody come see my van. Okay, so we closed our door for a few minutes to make another coffee. It's too windy to have the door open. But disaster kind of struck this afternoon. I had my vlog camera on a tripod and it got blown over and is no longer working. So we're trying out my new camera setup. Um, I definitely need to get an externally mounted mic. So sorry if the audio this week is a little different than you guys are used to. We're still kind of adjusting, trying to make it work, but I really wanted to bring you guys along with me this weekend because this is such a cool event. So we're gonna make it work and we need more caffeine. <laughs> We just finished up our last tour of the day and the squad is going to roll out for some much needed mug meetings. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. I'm so hungry. It's literally closed. <laughs> Rough. <laughs> <laughs> you have to walk back. I'm so peeved right now. I think we found something on the way back, so fingers crossed. But we're calling to double check this time because <laughs> we're all getting a little hangry. Y'all better vlog this. Okay. Yeah, better vlog Absolutely. This is going to make a really good vlog. We've got everybody piled into Steffi's van because the margarita mission does not end at the closed so, restaurant. Absolutely not. We do not give up. We do not give up. <laughs> Margarita! Margarita! I'm not gonna be able to do this with everybody. Those are wide and wide. How? Wide screen. Wide screen. I can do ultra wide on Instagram. I don't do boomer. Just go. Ready? Cheers, Margaritas! <laughs> I was filming in a completely different direction. By <laughs> the biggest uh, burrito in the world. Okay, the normal size burrito. That's normal. <laughs> <laughs> and that's her. <laughs> You guys know about cameras, but we're still getting into it, but we love it. Okay, there's something you get called chromatic aberration. Okay. Is... <laughs> no, we're friends, so <laughs> believe it, Grandma. <laughs> this is my jam. This is my favorite song. 
Okay, why are you just now telling us? <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> Wait. I went to Mexico like a year and a half ago, and I was with um, Mod's son. I don't know if you even know Mod's son. No way. And his roommate invited me, and I went with them, with him, and like a group of people. And Thank you. And Kelly was supposed to go with them the last month, but I thought it was. I'm yeah, just like casually, yeah, me and Machine Gun Kelly over here. It would have been a big deal, but it's like, I. You know, it's like, <laughs> Good morning, and welcome to day two of the United Tiny House Festival. Yesterday, we spent pretty much all day giving tours of our van, and it was so much fun to meet so many people interested in this lifestyle. This community never ceases to amaze me. We met so many incredible people yesterday, and I'm so excited to continue showing our van today. But I also want to take a lap around and look at some of the school buses. Some of these builds are absolutely stunning, and I'm so excited to share. I also thought I'd give you a little bit of a peek into some of my friends' vans while we've got our vans open for the day. And then we will wrap up this week's video. We had such a good time hanging out last night. We all went and grabbed margaritas together after a long day of showing off our homes. It was definitely so fun to unwind and really get to soak up the van life community. Josh is doing a lap of the schoolies now while I watch the van and then we're gonna switch places and I will take you guys with me. Sam sweeps mommy. I think Haley's a little tired of having visitors. She's ready for her nap. <laughs> know you guys saw some of Trent's van when we were hanging out here last night, but I thought I would give you guys a better look around. He's got such beautiful wood detailing in here. It's so gorgeous. I'm really jealous of the windows. <laughs> and the two swivel seats. And we definitely need to get some walkie-talkies. Hi, Millie! I'm in your house! I'm sorry! <laughs> I love this one so good luck you guys. Oh, look at the rug. I'm obsessed. This is just a whole vibe. I'm officially obsessed with this bus. If I ever get to do a bus, just like this Literally. one, the attention to detail in here is amazing. The character, uh, everything. It's so cute. Every little detail is just so thought out. Excuse me. Put their Instagram handle here. If you guys would like to give them a follow, they sell super beautiful art and they have the most beautiful tiny home. Thank you guys for letting me show my friends around. <laughs> It's the rainbows for me. It's Dude. the rainbows for me. This is so cool. We just finished up with the award ceremony. This is my new friend Emily. I was so stoked to meet her this weekend, but I wanted to show you guys her beautiful Van Walter. He's so cute. I love it. He's an old man. <laughs> It turned out so beautiful. It makes me miss my like small van so much. <laughs> it just makes you go outside more. And I can sit here. Oh, so many options. <laughs> and I can sit here. And wait, what do I cook? Oh, yes. Right. A kitchen with a view. <laughs> And this is her baby Brian. You got the ball? <laughs> he says, Mom, Mom. <laughs> I love Van Lifer supporting other Van Lifers. She's got Eamon and Beck's Chai Walla tea up here on the shelf and the most beautiful curtains. <laughs> We 
had so much fun at that event and after three years of living in vans I'm still kind of in shock we have never been to a van life event before. We had the best time, we met so many incredible people and even though my vlog camera broke I'm really grateful I was able to figure out a way to bring you guys along. I know I said at the beginning of this video that I'd be giving you guys our official van tour next week. That was said before my filming camera broke, so I'm going to postpone that just a little bit longer. I'm taking my camera in to get it looked at today. So everyone cross your fingers for me that it doesn't cost too much, but I'll keep you guys updated. If you haven't followed my Instagram account, I will put the link to that here. I've actually been working on some paintings as a way to help raise money to get my camera fix so if you guys are interested in having a little piece of my work in your van or home head on over to my instagram and check those out overall it was just so cool to be able to experience so many different rigs builds tiny homes all in one place josh and i never got the opportunity to step into or look at a tiny home or a van before we started our van life journey and while everything worked out okay for us i will say Having seen all of the builds, even now that we've done three, was so inspiring. I even decided to do a little bit of redecorating, adding some shelves, just to make things work a little bit better for us. We even got the idea from our friends Brandon and Sarah to add a handle on our sliding door to make it easier to close. Some of the builds that we looked at, they are really dialed in and we got so many good ideas on how to make our van work just a little bit better for us. If you live this way, you'll know we're always fixing, changing something to make it work just a little bit better in our space. Let me know in the comments down below which bus was your favorite mine was definitely the mushroom bus it was so cute and cozy they just had the most beautiful and eclectic pieces in their van and the wood-burning stove I just I can't yeah so I definitely recommend getting out to one of these events if you are able to especially if you are interested in living this way in the future we found it so beneficial and I can't believe that we didn't explore something like this before we started van life um, highly recommend. The festival we attended was the United Tiny Living Festival, but I will link the account to the people that put the event together. They do multiple events all over the East Coast um, all throughout the year. So if you are interested in checking something like that out, check the description box below for all that information. Even with all of the camera mishaps, I've still really just been wanting to share, so I actually filmed another video that will be coming out um, either Friday or Tuesday for you guys. Um, I filmed it on my iPhone. Originally I wasn't going to share just because I got a little in my head about my, not having my proper equipment, but after watching through some of the footage it just felt really raw and real and I still really want to share it. So that will be the next video you guys see from me. I will keep you updated on the camera situation. Thumbs up if you liked this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I appreciate your patience as I work on getting my equipment fixed. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't for new van life videos every week and I will see you guys in the next one. Oh, I also totally forgot to mention this amazing mirror. Hi guys! But I actually got this from a traveling thrifting bus at the event and I am obsessed. I feel like it fits in the space so perfect and I just wanted to show you guys because, I mean, just look how cute!